It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring, he went to bed. And then what happened? Um, he, he bumped his head and he couldn't wake up till morning. <laughs> Let's explore that, shall we? I mean, what is there to explore? He bumped his head and he probably hurt himself <laughs> and he didn't wake up until the morning. No, yeah, I just, I think you have those last lyrics wrong, that's all. He couldn't wake up till the morning. He couldn't get up in the morning. Till morning. The lyrics are in the morning. Hold on. This poor old man, you know. Yeah, but me, if he, if he didn't get up in the morning, People are just like, I had no idea that this was the history. I have never heard this in my life. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch it. Oh, no. Sit down. Have a seat. What? Yeah, just trust me. Sit down. Okay, I'm sitting down. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we're just, we're not going to do that one anymore, me. And why not? <laughs> because it's a racist song. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, that song is literally associated with slave trade in America. Like, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. Yeah, the word was not always tiger. Well, if the word wasn't tiger, then... You got it. Some are a lot more straightforward than others, but then there are a few different interpretations and that's where it gets into like the folklore type of thing, like ideology around it. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack- You like that one, huh? Yeah. No, yeah, it's like one of my favorites. My parents used to sing it to me like all the time. Hmm. And you know what that's about? Yeah. Yeah, it's about these two kids that go up this hill and then they fall down and get a boo-boo. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the French Revolution? Yeah. <laughs> mm. And Louis the Sixteenth and Marie Antoinette. Heard of them? I don't know what. Do you know what happened to Louis the Sixteenth and Marie Antoinette? I mean, they they were beheaded for treason, but but what does that have to do with this? And what did Louis lose when he was beheaded? His crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Kind of just pick my favorite. And for the most part, I feel like a lot of it is rooted in truth. And then some of it just gets kind of twisted along the way throughout history. Do you know the muffin man, the muffin man, the muffin man? Do Good morning. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> Sorry. Do you know what you're singing about? Uh, yes, the Muffin Man, who lives on Drury Lane. <laughs> That's it. Do you know Frederick Thomas Linwood, by any chance? Frederick Tom? Uh, no, I, I don't recall. Mm, I think, I think you could find it. Yeah, no, I might have it. Um, was he England's first serial killer? He sure was. <clears throat> and what was another name he went by? Come on, me. Not the Muffin Man. What was another name he went by? The Drury Lane Dicer. Yeah. And who were his targets? The children. Yeah. The one that I noticed the most is like religious persecution. And like with Catholicism and being a Protestant in like the 1800s, 1700s in England, I've noticed a pattern with like religious aspects. Goodbye, baby, on the treetop when the wind blows. Yeah, it's about time we got to this one. Oh, King James II. Heard of him? Yeah, you know he was the uh, the last Catholic monarch of England, Scotland, and Ireland. Yeah. Thanks to the glorious revolution of 1688, baby. All right. But this King James II had to have a baby. Naturally. And naturally. And rumor has it that baby isn't actually his baby at all, but a baby they smuggled in to make sure that he had a Roman Catholic heir. They took somebody else's baby. 
Yeah. I don't like that. And the wind. Yeah, what's the wind? It's that Protestant wind. Coming to blow James II away. Right. The wind is his son-in-law who eventually... You got it. So we've been singing about a smuggled baby and the downfall of an empire. I will say, like, I've had a lot of people, especially like on the Facebook community side, I think there's a lot of older people that think that, you know, I'm trying to ruin things. I'm not trying to ruin things. I'm just trying to be a little funny and I'm trying to like enlighten and I'm trying to say, hey, like this is the history of this, just in case you want to know. It's kind of crazy and I think it's wild and I think you should know about it and take it or leave it. Keep singing the songs if you want to or don't.